Hello friends, welcome to Southern Seasons. My name is Jody, and I am so glad that you joined me today. If you love decorating, DIYs, thrifting, tablescapes, French country, shabby chic, and a touch of farmhouse, then this is the channel for you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get all the notifications of my new videos coming up. Today, I am going to be finishing up some decorating in my kitchen here. I want to do something on the tray. So I'm going to put this little vase of greenery. Now, it came this way. I have two of these. I found these a few years back at Home Goods. They are great for adding other flowers in. So I have these little, well, I don't even know what you call them. I think I got them at uh, Walmart. They remind me of dandelion heads, you know, when they turn white in the little ball, but they're yellow. I'm going to pull this over here. I want to stick three of the picks in here. Let's put this back over here. And one more on this side. You know, today is a very cloudy day, and I think it's getting ready to rain here pretty soon. So, I thought I'd get a little more of my decorating done. Now here is the rooster that I made, that I showed on a few videos back. Okay, so if I can get this situated the way I want it. All right, I might have to play with this for a little bit. And the next thing I'm going to use is this little stand. This is something I, that I made quite a while back. Set that right there. And I have this little sign that says, Be Zesty. Okay, let's kind of tuck this in over here. Next, I'm going to be adding a few of these branches that I have that have some lemons on them. These were, uh, I think I found these at Tuesday morning quite a few years back, and they were pretty good size, and I cut pieces off of them. So I have three pieces here that I want to somehow fit in the tray here. Kind of hang them over the edge a little bit. Let me move this down so we can see it better. Okay. Let's kind of put this one over here, maybe. How about this one? We'll put this one here instead. Okay. All right, tuck this one over here. And this little one will just kind of stick back here in this area. I may have to do a little bit of tweaking on here. That could stay. <laughs> okay, so. Let's check out the whole tray really quick. So I did do a little bit of tweaking with the lemons here, as you can see. I think this looks really cute, having uh, the rooster in here with the lemons and the yellow, the pop of yellow. It looks really cute. I think this is all that I want to do for the tray. And I think this is pretty much going to finish up what I'm doing in the kitchen. I don't know if I'll do anything over by the sink or not. But I do want to head over to my breakfast nook, and I want to get a centerpiece done and my tablescape done. So here we are at the breakfast nook table, and I'm going to start with this canister here. I don't know. Actually, I think I got this at Home Goods quite a few years back for $7.99. I love the little bee on it. I think it's more for holding your utensils, a utensil holder. So I'm going to set this over here. I will be doing an arrangement in it in just a few minutes. First, I just want to add this pick here that I have, because I am doing sunflowers, bees, and lemons here in the breakfast nook. I want to cover up the end of this stem here with a little bit of greenery, and I want to add a few more lemons in here, and some daisies. I am pretty much doing black, white, yellow, and of course some green in the breakfast nook. That is my colors. I also have some of these little pieces of pit berries here. So we'll tuck this one in here. 
Okay, and put the lemon there. And a little bit more greenery just tucked back behind the lemon. There we go. Kind of separate the lemon from the utensil holder. I'm going to put more pit berries. How about we put this one over here instead? Tuck it in the back. One more lemon. And let's see, I got this daisy head here. I don't know what it goes to. <laughs> we'll just tuck it in somewhere. Let's put this one over here, a little bunch of daisies. And how about we'll tuck this one over here? Maybe. Okay, how about right there? And a few more pit berries. Let's put those in first. Okay. And the daisies. All right, so that is all I'm going to do on the tray. So now I need to work on my arrangement in the holder here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put this greenery bush in here. It's just from uh, Hobby Lobby. I've had these for many years. I'm trying to figure out how I want to put it in here. Now I do have some of my grocery store bags down in the bottom just to lift everything up. A couple more pieces of the pit berries. And I'm going to be using some wooden spoons here. Let me move the camera up just a little bit so you can see this better. Okay, got one wooden spoon over here. Going to add another one on the right side. And I have this little cute bee pick. This, this is actually wood. And it was a really bright yellow, but I painted it just a little bit darker to blend in better with the yellows that I'm using in here. I'm going to tuck that in here. Let's kind of play with the pit berries a little bit. Okay, stick there. One last thing is I'm going to put one of my whisks in here. I think this looks really cute. All right, so that is it for the centerpiece. So let's get started on the tablescape. The first thing I've done is put my black chargers down. Now these are chargers that I found at Pier 1 many, many years ago. And the next thing I want to do is add some white plates. And these are also from Pier 1. I love this little beaded detail on the edge. And then I have a little yellow salad plate I want to show you. Now I got these cute bee and the honeycomb design here uh, plates. I got four of them. I found them on eBay a few years back. And I like the bee on here, but I'm actually going to cover it up with my napkins. So let's get started on those. Now I'm just taking a white napkin that I have. This is something I got from Pier 1 many years ago. I'm just going to bunch it up. I have these cute metal bee napkin rings. And I have this little honey dipper here that was uh, unfinished wood and I painted it this color. I've had these for quite a few years. I always like to tuck these in. And since I was using my bee napkin ring, I thought it would be okay to cover up the plates. Okay, so I want to put some glasses on here, but no silverware. So here's the glasses that I'm using. Hopefully you can see this. I have to have my ring light on here. It's really dark in here. It has the honeycomb design. I got these off of Amazon a few years back. Okay, so that is all I'm going to do for the tablescape. So Take the camera off the tripod and we'll go around the breakfast nook here really quick. You can see everything. Get a little close up here. I think these look so cute. I love these um, bee napkin ring holders, but they're so big you really need to use two napkins. But I only wanted to use one. And sorry for the shadows here. I, Like I said, it's really dark. It looks like it's getting ready to rain here pretty soon. So I have to have my light ring on in here. Okay, so I did get a little vignette up here on my old window. Ignore my shadow. <laughs> kind of see up here a little bit and over off to the side. And I love these metal bees. I have two of them. I got them from Amazon a few years ago. 
and I love this little bee and sunflower picture. I have another one that coordinates with it. It's also from Amazon. I'll have some links down below if everything is still available, if you're interested. Let's kind of go over here one more time and check this out. Just stuck in some uh, flowers, some pit berries, and some few lemons up in here. Tucked a few daisies right here. Did a little tiny arrangement in my jar with the chicken wire on it and just threw a few daisies and lemons and pit berries up in the cloche. All right, so let's go over here to my side table. And here is that tray that I made. Just added a few items here. And of course I have my sign up above. Okay. I just really love this tray. <laughs> I might have to make a bigger one. All right, so here is how the room kind of looks if you're standing here. I think this looks really good with the yellow and the black and the white. Everything kind of coordinates in here. Now I do have one more vignette that I want to show you. I'm going to be over in my entryway here with my little niche, as you can see. I'm just going to do, I'm not going to go all the way to the top, I'm just going to do this little section here with my shutters that I have and I'm going to add this arrangement that I made earlier. So I'm basically doing green, white, and a little bit of touch of black, as you see I've got black handles here on the container. And I have this little black chicken wire basket that I put three faux green uh, pears in. I want to add a little bit more of those white flowers. I had one more little piece left. I'm going to sit it right here. And I want to add one more of the pear. I'm going to put it in between right here. I think that looks so cute. All right, so let's get some close-ups here. Again, I have to have my light ring on in here, so there might be a few shadows. I apologize for that. Still hasn't rained yet, but uh, it is pretty dark out. Okay. Now, this kind of coordinates with what's going on in my formal living room here. As you can see, it's kind of dark in here. And I brought my little horse back, kind of left everything the way it was, took away all the yellow. So I'm going to kind of keep my living room like this. All right, so that is going to do it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. I want to wish everybody a very wonderful weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.